Hi, everybody. Welcome back. I am so happy to see you. Um, last time we were together, we learned about um, using self-talk to help us remember the things we need to remember, didn't we? Nurg is here today with us also. Let's see what he is doing. First, I get my hands wet. Then I rub, rub with soap. Then I rinse them off and dry them very well. Oh, Nurg, what do you, what are you doing? I'm singing a song to help me remember all the hand washing steps. Oh, does that help you? Yes, I used to forget the wet my hands before getting the soap on them. But now I remember that step very every time. Well, that is amazing, Nurg. Good idea to sing yourself a song. Thank you. Um, I'm glad that you found a way to help you remember how to wash your hands. Can you sing that song for me again? Of course, it goes like this. First I get my hands wet, then I rub, rub with soap, then I rinse them off and dry them very well. Wow, I love that song. That's a great song, isn't it? Yeah. So guys, thank you, Nurg, for showing me. I'm going to, you want to sit over here with me while I finish? Yeah, I'll see you later, friends. Bye. All right. Last week, we learned about that self-talk, didn't we? And now we're learning even more about it, that we can use those that self-talk to help us remember the steps of things that we need to remember. So I want to tell you a story again about a boy named Danny. So here's Danny, okay? And Danny is sitting on the rug, and he's trying to remember what to do. His teacher said to go start the art project, but there was something else he had to do first, and Danny forgot to focus his attention. Who can Danny ask to find out what he needs to do? Who can Danny ask if he doesn't know what he's supposed to do when he's at school? His teacher. Yeah, he can ask his teacher. If he's at home, like we are now, if he forgets what he's supposed to do, who could he ask? He can ask the grown-up that's with him, if that's mom or dad, grandma, grandpa, auntie, uncle, whoever is with you, babysitter, okay? You can ask your grown-up to um, tell you again what they asked you to do, okay? Let's see what happens. Danny decides to ask the teacher what he has to do. He asks in a respectful voice, please, what do I need to do before I start the art project? His teacher says, I'll tell you the directions again. Turn on your attentoscope so you can really focus. Danny turns on his attentoscope and he looks at the teacher and listens carefully. The teacher says, first put on a paint shirt, then go start the art project. Next, the teacher says, Danny, repeat or say again what I said to help you remember. Danny says the directions over and over in his head. He walks to where the paint shirts are. What was Danny saying to himself as he walked to get the paint shirt? What was he saying to himself? He was telling himself, first, go put on a paint shirt and then go start the art project. Yeah, he was saying that over and over in his head. Um, uh, focusing your attention and using self-talk helps you remember what you need to remember. So not only do we use self-talk, but we focus our attention on what we need to do, okay? Those are some important things that we need to learn when um, we can use those every day, even at home and not just at school. So even though we're not at school, we can still use those concepts, okay? So um, that's it for that lesson today, and I'll see you again next time, okay? Bye, friends.